Hello everyone, it's Mimi's here from Mimi's Worms. I just had to share this because I'm like super, super excited. We finally got in our um, thermometers today and our uh, grow bags for your grab and goes, uh, your 20 minute uh, instant worm bins, if that's what you wanna call them. Um, I am just like super excited. We're gonna do some of these, I'll do a video to show you guys how I put these together because they are like so easy. You can just do them in a matter of just minutes. Um, and our thermometers, uh, they are in. So we will be getting those changed out from pre-sale on our website to available. Um, so I'm super excited to bring those to y'all. Um, just, I, I just can't tell you guys how exciting this is for me. Um, but anyway, see you guys soon. I'll have a new video out on an update uh, here real soon on the warehouse and how things are coming along. We've got some more major changes going on, like this room I'm in right now, which was always our shipping room. We are actually turning this into our holding room because it is already heated and cooled. So rather than have to buy a cooler or add any air conditioning, we're gonna use this room, so we're gonna be putting racks in here like this to hold them. And we're gonna, uh, we've put in a new door right here. And we're gonna be putting our, this'll be our um, shipping room here. Uh, Michael's come in and put me some new shelves up here. It's a wreck right now, so you guys don't look at all the mess. But he's put me um, some racks right here to hold our new bags and thermometers, our extra boxes we're getting ready for. Um, the spring, we're using these now for our sifters that he makes for me. And then over here, he's built me a tool room. So this will be where we can have all our tools in here. He's got my lighting up. And uh, so we'll be able to keep this closed off from the rest of the place, just in case somebody decides they want to break in. Um, this is going to be where we keep our feed stock over here in this corner. And then this just comes right back out to the, the bins. So I think it'll be a easy move. Our cardboard gonna, room is going to stay where it is. Our update right now is I have some uh, cocoons that we're hatching out right here. I just, I really like to watch them. Um, so, and this out here is still a wreck pretty much, but we've just got so much construction going on. But let me just show you guys these cocoons. If you can see at all the cocoons, even got the babies are starting to hatch already. We have these on some heat mats. We're keeping the temperature about 80, 85 keeping them really moist. I've got some uh, leaves and compost and manure and all right here on the top. I've got apples in here for them to help them hatch. Um, just goodness gracious, I'm just super excited to see this all coming together. I got Tabitha over here making more bins. Um, we've got about 200 pounds of worms to put out between now and Saturday. Um, all of the Bagsters now have cocoons and baby worms in them um over here we've got um all our inputs so right now we're doing some inputs with uh dairy manure our gin trash this is some straw and some um oh goodness it's got all kinds of stuff straw um Oh, goodness. Straw and wood chips. Shaved shavings. This is some ground up leaves I did out of my yard. Um, they hold moisture real good. The worms love them too. Get some, some good microbes in it. Got our peanut hulls and got our pit moss. So we'll mix all that together, which how we do that is we just layer it in our wheelbarrow. And then as we uh, dip it out, it it just pretty much mixes it itself. We tried the um, cement mixer, but it was just too time consuming. So we just started doing this layer and then it seems to work. I mean, when you got 5,500 bins to do, it's, we, you know, 
Um, anybody want to sit or buy me some cups of coffee if you guys want to do some uh, donations? That's That would be great. We need a, a new fort lift and we need a, a, a mixer, so a commercial mixer. Um, and I'm really just teasing guys, but you know, uh, Tabitha said she'll still take the coffee. <laughs> and I do appreciate those of you who have bought us coffees. It really means a lot to us. We, we do work hard up here. We've got our extra piles of wood. We got to get this going through and get it cleaned up and straightened up. We've got our table over here where we've been building sifters. We got our big trommel back in here. That's not where it's gonna stay. We just got it back inside. Um, we've got water. We still gotta figure out how we're gonna do our water. Cause now that we have the bins in here like we have them, we don't want our water overhead. Um, so we've got to figure out what we're gonna do. We may just leave it overhead over the ones that are in the green bags and the bagsters. I just haven't thought through on that. Right now we're just using sprinklers. I may run some soaker hoses. I don't know. I'm still planning on that. I didn't like the way the overhead sprayer is done before. And that is what caused the problem was them coming loose. And I don't know that I want to go through that again. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Today is February the 15th, 2023. We are continued to evolve um, so we, we, you may see changes from the videos when we first started to where we are now, um, because as you grow, you make changes, you try to find things that makes it better. And, uh, and that's what we've been trying to do is just really get everything set up so that once all our construction is finished, all our, our, um, plumbing, our electrical, our building, all of those things then we can focus on equipment that we need and then just basically just day-to-day -day operations of growing and selling worms until next time you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and we will be back with more updates soon